They think I'm crazy, but they can't help but like me. I'm gonna see if I can stir up one here. Got one. The pinch welds immaculate. So this is kind of exciting, okay? Got a 20,000 mile hatchback here I just picked up. Uh, it was kind of local-ish, Foley, Alabama, only like an hour and a half away. This sucker's been sitting for a long time, uh, like 15 years or so, and like we got leaves everywhere. Uh, car is nice though, like, man, body's clean, pinch welds are immaculate, uh, all original car. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow out the engine bay, try to get it a little bit cleaned up in here, maybe pressure wash the car itself before I bring it inside and off the trailer, and, um, and then I'm gonna try and get it started. Supposedly it's got a bad starter, I'm not sure how keen i feel about replacing the starter tonight but i'll probably get to it so let's get working i thought i was safe buying this car but no look at me i just take everything apart why is it got to escalate this quickly my hatch try to start her up oh 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 and she's running no throttle fuel pump just chilling sitting for 15 years first start that sucker's purring too okay you already know the deal got the fuel pump hooked up returning right back to it thing started right up and it's running nice so i was pretty amazed how clean this door panel came out uh look at what it started out like um, but what I do when I get them is I take out all the interior um, and just inspect them, make sure that there's not rust in really, really bad spots, I guess, or just to assess it so I can get a game plan. Um, so yeah, but this car has to go back together now. So let's make a trip. I got all the parts for this car in this back room over here. All right, this is it. This is the whole car right here. All the interior. Seats, blah, blah, blah. And then just like random other people. Oh, oh, don't mind those panels. Oh, don't mind those either. We got this is a brand new Nissan box full of brand new parts for the car. All restoration parts. Got some NOS parts and stuff in there too. I got a NOS part in here. And in here, tell you about those later when I actually make a video for this car. Um, see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? 20,733. 33 is my favorite number, by the way. All right, let's do an update on this car before I like start ripping it apart and don't say anything about it and don't record any of it because I'm real good at that. Oh shit, I meant to grab a, a light and put it underneath the car so I can do this. Um, I guess let me pause this and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back with lights. Hopefully they're not overbearing. But, this is the 20,000 mile hatchback. Um, I just wanted to check out some stuff on here. So I brought it up on the lift and it was hard to move around. Um, because one of the brakes were locked up. But, you see, it's got a bunch of surface rust just like on suspension parts and stuff. But like, as for the body, um, it's dumb clean. Like you see, there's this little spot right here in that corner, but that's like literally just surface rust. Watch this, wipe it off my finger. And it's literally just the stain from one of these spot welds right there. Um, the pinch welds, immaculate. I've literally never seen a cleaner pinch weld. Like there's, I've, I've had some cars with really nice ones, like almost perfect, but like literally this is perfect. Um, before I put this on here, like look, that one mark right there is the only mark on the entire frame roll all the way down. Um, everything else is absolutely perfect. Like check this out. Like there's never been a jack on the, on the frame. Never been jacked up on the pinch welds super clean and like all this this is like once i blast this car that's going to be non-existent
perfect pinch welds. And same same story goes for up here. All the suspension's got like surface rust and stuff on it. It looks a little worse than it actually is. Um, let me grab the light. But we have back here. The rest of back here. Um, again, it's just like at all the spot welds. There's just like light, light surface rust. They'll all come off with a media blast. Well, I'm not media blasting. I'm sorry. I'm dustless blasting it. Um, but we're going to rotisserie this car and completely dustless blast it. You can see there's just like little light surface everywhere that, well, honestly, you could scuff it with like scotch bright and it'll probably all come off. That's how light it is um, up in the wheel wells in the front. Same deal. Light surface everywhere. Now, don't get me wrong. Not like I'm trying to hide rust. There's rust on this car. We'll get to that. Maybe not in uh, this clip or this video, but we'll get to that. We'll repair it when it's on the rotisserie. The car's got all the plastic um, shields. The one underneath. None of them are broken. None of them are ripped. There's one crack in this shield right here where it bolts. Um, other than that, they're all mint. Oh, wow. I wasn't paying attention. It's all right, though. Um, but, yeah, you see it. I mean, like I said, surface rust on, like, everything. So there's going to be a lot of cleanup, a lot of restoration on this car. Um, but it's going to be sick. It's going to be a little bit of everything. Um, so it'll be, like, action-packed. But this is it so far. 20,000 mile hatch, perfect frame rails, no holes through the floor. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty good car. So I don't exactly know when I'm going to start completely stripping the car down. Um, I'm probably going to leave it assembled for the most part for a little bit as I want to do this like very, very organized. It's because I got a lot of parts and I'm getting mixed up. I've already stripped most of the interior. Um, I did that like weeks ago, like when I first got the car to inspect uh, and look for rust. I'm pretty sure I filmed that. It's probably on my phone though. Um, other than that though, man, I mean, the car's pretty decent. Uh, we'll get into it more and more as we go. Um, like I said, I don't want to rush it. And I got a lot of other projects going on. It's a mess in the shop right now. I'm working on cleaning up the shop right now. So I was probably going to pull this car back off a of lift after I get that brake caliper off. So. I just wanted to make a quick video of it before I did that. Um, I probably won't pull it apart on the ground because I'm honestly scared to jack the car up. Um, besides, unless I jack it up from the diff or something, I do not want to put jack stands underneath it or nothing. This car will never see jack stands or my ownership. Uh, just lift and uh, the rotisserie. So um, until the next video, until we start taking the stuff apart, um, that's going to be it. I mean, I guess when we f actually start taking it apart, what I'll do first is like completely, completely get the inside uh, completely stripped out. And then I'll take all the drivetrain apart, build a dolly for it, and uh, maybe even build like a combo rotisserie dolly type deal. Um, or build a dolly and then build my rotisserie um, stands into the dollies. But that's, uh, that's down the road. So that's it for now.